Say hello to Thermoman. In April 2011, Industrial Fire World played host to a live fire demonstration by DuPont's Thermoman, one of the world's most advanced thermal burn evaluation systems. The demonstration was conducted at the Gulf Coast Emergency Response Academy in Axis, Alabama, near Mobile. Dan Bowen, Technical Marketing Specialist for DuPont Protection Technologies, explained that Thermoman is a life-size mannequin with 122 thermal sensors known as calorimeters distributed across his body. These sensors, tied to a computer, are used to predict the level, extent, and location of potential burns in testing flame-resistant garments exposed to short bursts of intense fire. Thermoman is dressed completely in protective apparel and engulfed in flames, so factors such as garment construction, fabric weight, material type, style, fit, and the impact of outerwear and undergarments can be taken into account. Controllable, reproducible exposure conditions are key advantages of the Thermoman testing system. The first burn involved 100% cotton workwear. A typical Thermoman burn uses eight propane jets burning at 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. Because different materials burn at different temperatures, duration of the burn can range from three to eight seconds. Cotton ignites at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so this test burn lasted four seconds. Thermoman recorded continued burn injuries for nearly 45 seconds beyond the initial propane blast. The result would be second and third degree burns over 80% of the body. Third degree burns are so severe that they require skin grafts to heal. Only 50% of the youngest workers would survive burns to that extent. For retirement age workers, survivability drops to about 10%. Next, cotton treated with flame retarding chemicals was subjected to the same 4 second blast. After the burn, Thermoman reported a big spike in burn injury that Bowen blamed on continuing exothermic reaction of phosphorus compounds used in FR treated cotton. That reaction continues to consume the cotton material. Survivability rose to 65% for the youngest workers, 25% for retirement age workers. The seams survived because regulations required that FR clothing be sewn with non-flammable aramid thread such as Nomex. The third burn was identical to the previous two except that a man-made aramid fiber provided the FR protection. Only 36% body burn was recorded. Third degree burns dropped to 14%. Heat transfer to the skin lasted only 7 seconds after the 4 second burn. Survivability for the youngest wearers increased to 97%. Burn 4 falls into the category of what not to do with FR clothing. Nomex coveralls were worn beneath a chemical suit not classified as flame retardant. Out of a 65% body burn, 52% qualified as third degree. Survivability for youngest workers decreased to 75%. For older workers, survivability dropped to 30%. After the four second burn, it took another 15 seconds before the Nomex heated enough to transfer heat to the body. That transfer lasted another 40 seconds, resulting in significant burn injury. The fifth burn demonstrated DuPont's solution to the problem, a Tycam Thermopro chemical suit worn over Nomex limited wear. Of the 12% body burn reported, only half was third degree. Heat transfer ceased after 12 seconds. Survivability was rated at 100%. Finally, Thermoman was demonstrated wearing turnout gear. The heavy material received an 8 second burn. Total body burn was limited to 7%, mainly in the face area. No burns were reported anywhere else on the Thermoman unit.